Welcome to a new video in my Home Automation Open Have a Note Dress series. I've done a few sort of videos in the past uh, with uh, standard firmware and also with some modified firmware, but I want to talk about another standard feature today, which is the Google Home integration. Sonoff was supporting um, Amazon Echo for a long time now, but I think um, supporting Google Home is a recent addition. And uh, because I don't have an um, Amazon Echo, I couldn't test this voice functionality, but I do have a Google Home, so I just want to do it now. And actually, um, this is the first time I'm going through the setup, so hopefully everything is going to work fine for the first time. And just to show you that I'm uh, controlling my actual devices, um, I came to the EVLink application, I, I renamed two of my test devices, which you can see uh, in the board now. So one is called the Kitchen, which is the, uh, actually that's the TH10, uh, and that is controlling the lower left lamp. And then I renamed the Touch to Study, which is controlling the upper right lamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure these, add them to Google Home, and then hopefully control them by voice. So let's see. First, we need to go into uh, need to go into the Google Home application, which is here, and you have to find your device, which is your Google Home, and then you need to go into settings, and then into home control. Okay, and within home control, I need to click on yes because I want to add a new device, and. I need to scroll down in the available application or devices until I find the EV link. Yeah, which is the Smart V link. So you do that, and the next thing that you need to do is provide your EV link account details. So once you enter your email address or phone number and password, then your EV link account is getting linked to Google Home. I got an error message, well I just got a message, uh, you probably see that, but if I come back I can actually see my uh, four devices that exist in Google Home, uh, sorry, in EV Link, and I can, you know, hopefully control them. They are not assigned to a room at the moment, but um, you know, that should be fine. So let me go back to the EV Link application and let's try the voice control. Okay Google, turn on the kitchen light. I'm afraid I don't understand. Okay, Google. Turn on kitchen. Okay, turning on the kitchen. Okay, so it seems that it understands the same word which is given to the uh, uh, to the device in EV Link, so maybe probably I should rename it to, I don't know, kitchen lamp or kitchen light. Okay, Google. Turn on the study. Sure, turning the study on. OK, Google. Turn off kitchen and study. Sorry, I don't understand. Hmm. So you can only control one device at a time. OK, Google. What's the status of study? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. So it seems that we can't get uh, status information back. So what the only thing we can really do is just to control the um, the lamp whether to turn them on and off. OK Google, what's the temperature in kitchen? On the website thekitchen.com they say kitchen fact the ideal temperature range for your freezer is 0 degrees Fahrenheit or below minus 18 degrees Celsius or below. OK so it seems that for the TH10 we can't really get the uh, the sensor readings either. So it's, it's really just there uh, to turn things on and off. Okay Google, turn everything off. There you go, turning four things off. So as you can see, um, you can send a command to turn everything off and then it will turn all your devices off. Uh, I just turned the POW back on because actually that is uh, connected to my washing machine and I think there is a washing setup uh, to start in a few hours. So in a nutshell, setting up Google integration uh, with EVLink is really easy. It just takes a few steps uh, in the Google Home application and then you can control your devices. Just make sure that you rename your devices in a way that you want to you know, call them as in a room and then a lamp or 
you know, a fan or whatever that is connected to it. And the only thing, you, it seems that the only thing you can do is um, control the on-off state and, uh, and that's pretty much it. You can't get uh, the current state back and also you can't get all the additional information such as the temperature and the humidity which the TA, for example the TH10 is measuring. I checked on IT's web page and they have a whole blog post about how to uh, con uh, do this integration and it seems that within the integration when I, I got all the devices connected I, there was a button where I said you know done connection which I, I didn't press but still I got the devices so it's all working fine so um, and I just got a confirmation from that side that uh, the only well, what you can do is you can turn things on and off um, you know turn groups on and off like if you have assigned them to like a room then of, of course you can turn a room on and off and um, uh, if you have um, uh, a bulb from IT then you can control the brightness uh, using voice commands and that's pretty much it so again you can't really ask for the state you can't really ask for temperature and other readings uh, on a th10 or for example a pow uh, so that's what they are offering at the moment i hope you find this useful and hopefully see you in the next video